So you've probably heard a lot about AI agents. Today, I'm going to show you how to build your own agent, add MCP servers and tools using the brand new OpenAI Agents SDK. It's a new framework from OpenAI for building these agents, uh, and it works pretty well. So I'm going to walk through it. In front of me, I have a Replit app. So you'll click the link in the description of this video, click one button to create this in your own environment in your browser. You don't have to install anything. It just runs. It's pretty cool. And I've already installed all the packages, so you don't have to worry about that either. What we have is 36 lines of Python. Um, we're going to go through it here. I'm going to start with this agent. So we're defining an agent using this framework. The agent is backed by GPT-41 Mini, and it has the instructions of just being a helpful assistant, but we're giving it access to both tools and MCP servers. Now, if you've heard of MCP, you know it's a universal framework for defining a set of tools that agents can have access to. It's similar to a tool, so I wanted to show you an example of just defining your own tool. However, MCP servers allow you to actually access code written by other people very simply and pull it into your application. And that's what we're doing here. So we're giving our agent access to MCP fetch, which lets AI fetch websites. And we're giving it access to our own custom tool that I defined here on line seven that just returns the current time. The really neat thing is that AI is going to understand how to use the MCP servers because of the protocol, because of how it's defined. And because it understands types, it's going to understand how to use get time as well. Now, the prompt here is going to say, hey, get a get the contents of docs.replit.com and uh, summarize it, but then also return the current time. So because we have our OpenAI API key here, that's the only other setup required for this app is to drop your API key in. We can just click the Run button, and we're going to execute our application on Replit. Now, you know, back in the days of old, AI couldn't do stuff like this, right? You go to ChatGPT and you're like, tell me about this thing, and it would say, sorry, that's past my knowledge cutoff. Now, right, like OpenAI is giving models access to tools, Anthropic is giving models access to tools, so the models are getting smarter and better equipped. And I think you're going to see a lot more of that um, in the future as AI gets access to this stuff. But you can see on the right here, we pulled in our summary, uh, summary of the updates, and we have our timestamp in UTC. Just like that, we built an agent in 35 lines of Python that could do stuff. That's really cool. So you can imagine doing more complicated things, right? Like automating some manual stuff you have to do. Uh, maybe even pulling in an email API and then sending that somewhere or pulling in a notifications API, sending it to Slack. Um, but even though this is running in the browser, you didn't install anything, we got it working this far, you might want to run this every day at 5 p.m. every Friday at 5 a.m. I don't know, run it whenever you want to. What's cool is that Replit deployments, you just go to deploy, you go to schedule job, set up deployment, are going to allow us to do just that. So I can come in here, I'm going to enter every Friday at 9 a.m. We're going to generate, uh, we're just going to turn that into um, basically a time to run. And since all we're doing is running this main file, I can click deploy once we get that cron expression. Whoop, seems like it errored out there. I can click deploy once we get that cron expression. And this is just going to work, right? And it's going to run at that timestamp every Friday um, on a schedule. And so just like that, we built an MCP server, we, we built an agent that has access to an MCP server, has access to a tool, um, gave it a prompt, set it up with our API key and deployed it. Now it's gonna run on a cadence, on a schedule. Um, so just like that, that's how fast it is these days to build and deploy AI agents. And I think MCP is really filling in the gaps in functionality that were limiting uh, the utility of things like this in the past. So I'm really excited um, to see what you all will build with this. Um, remix the template, give it a shot, let me know what you think. Until next time, peace.